Hello everyone, I am back. I'm back, I'm back. So, I decided to um, do two parts to this video because it has gotten lengthy. And I, and I figured, I mean, as I said, it would be um, longer. And I'm sorry, y'all, if I know that I'm not looking directly at you guys. I am, it looks like I'm looking over here. And the, the way that the camera is, I'm looking at the camera, but it looks like I'm looking up and I'm not giving you all direct eye contact. But if I look this way, it's awkward because I'm not looking directly into the camera. I'm kind of looking like off to the side. So I'm going to be looking up in the air talking to y'all. <laughs> I mean, but I'm looking in the camera, but it doesn't look like. I'm giving you all direct eye contact, so I'm sorry about that. But I, I am looking directly into the camera. Um, it's just on my tripod, so it can. it's a little off. I don't know. I'm working on that. But, um, so we were talking about getting together so that we all can um, meet. And I said in the previous video that I was going to create an email for... Um, CP moms for you for us to be able to dialogue and talk about how we were going to um, come together and meet and collaborate so that we could come up with some ideas so we could spread awareness and bring attention and get the medical treatment that we need for our situation. I'm gonna try to look on this side of the camera for a little while so I, it, <laughs> I can I think it'll make me look like I'm looking directly at you guys. I'm going to try it. It's awkward, but I'll, I'll keep looking. I'll just find one place to focus on. I'm so busy looking at my eyes and making sure that I, you know, um, don't have, you know, stuff all on my face, but okay. So what I was saying in my other video was that I want to, um, have a team lead for each region, or you can partner together with someone and try to um, come up with a, um, a location for everyone to meet. Um, and so, I'm sorry y'all if I seem a little um, all over the place. I, I'm tired, <laughs> so yeah. But, um, and I'm gonna create an email address um, or either I'm going to use the previous email address that I have. I just got to, I, I believe it's called the Tifa's meet, meet and Eat, but I need to verify that, that that is the correct address, email address, and we can dialogue via the email address or, um, you can just DM me. Um, I'm Latifa show on Facebook. My account is private. Um, but, um, if you DM me and you have some ideas that you want to share, um, I may or may not. Um, I'm not going to respond to everybody because I have to, um, what do you call it? Um, I got I kind of have to uh, just make sure I don't have any trolls. I should just say that. I'm, I don't think that I will, but, you know, people are just not right, y'all. So, but anyway... So if you have any ideas about how we can come together, DM me um, on Facebook because I don't want to have to respond to everybody. Like uh, I just want everybody's uh, comments to be in one area until I can give you the email address that you can and you can just send me an email. But what I like I said, what I want to do is I want us to come together so that we can have a meeting and a brunch or a lunch or whatever and brainstorm and talk about how we can bring awareness and um, how we can get the medical attention that we need. And I also want us to have some t-shirts made. Um, I really want us to get radical about, um, you know, our situation because being overlooked, being you know, mistreated, you know, it's, 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 it's 2019. This should not be happening. So I know I sound repetitive to some of the ones that have already uh, viewed my, uh, the, the first part to this video, but there may be some who just, just chiming in real quick and haven't 
um, watched the first video yet. So please be patient if you hear me saying the same thing over and over again. And I also want to say that my, my videos do not just con consist of talking about cryptic pregnancies. I, I'm, I'm about to put up some, some new content. Um, I also do vlogs. I have table talk and I do mukbangs. Mukbangs are far and few in between. And that is, for those of you who don't know what a mukbang is, it's where you sit down and you have a meal. And it's a fun meal. It's exciting. You can talk about how you made it. You can talk about what all your ingredients are. And you sit down and you just eat and people just come in and chime in on, on your video and have a meal with you. And you just have a subject that you talk about. Um, or you just sit and eat and have dinner with someone who may not have a family. Someone who may not um, have someone to talk to. Um... I'm sorry. I just got an email. Sorry about that. I mean, the text message. Um, sorry, y'all. So, yeah. So, that's what a mukbang is. And people do food challenges and all of that. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to say what I, you know, I'm not going to get into all of that. But I just wanted to share with you that I have a variety of things um, that my channel is based on. But more importantly... Um, my videos are going to be spiritually based. I am a woman of God. I'm a believer of Jesus Christ. So you will hear me using Jesus Christ. You will hear me referring to the scriptures and, um, pointing everyone to Jesus Christ. So I'm letting you know that now. So you may, I don't know if some of you, you might want to click off because that's not going to change. Um, if you are interested, that's fine. That's great. But I just wanted to let, kind of give you an overview, um, for some of you who are kind of tuning in because you see the CP videos, I am going to, I'm, I'm getting ready to introduce some new content at some point. So please stay tuned for that as well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, share my videos. I want these CP videos to go viral, not only just the CP videos, but when I do my videos with my new content, I want them to go viral as well because they're going to be helpful hint tools, hints and tools, and it's just going to be really, in my opinion, it's going to be great. So I decided to do a second part to this video, like I said, because I've been talking about um, several things about my um you know, about the, the second part of my uh, idea about us coming together and meeting up. Um, I know a lot of CP moms, again, are all over the world and may not be able to travel. So if we do have a few moms that are able to travel and come together, we can stream live or we can set up um, some type of donation or contribution to moms who can't afford to travel and we can also partner with one another or sponsor another person that may not be able to travel. And maybe we can meet them somewhere, pick them up, have them, you know, catch a bus or a train or maybe meet us halfway. And maybe we can carpool and pick up another CP mom so that when we have our meeting, they can be there as well. So what I'm asking everyone to do for now is send me a, a DM on Facebook. My name is Latifa Show on Facebook. You can DM me until I give you um, an email address, a concrete email address. Send your, share your comments. Tell me what you think about the idea. I need someone who can do t-shirts. If you are good with graphics and you can create a logo for CP Moms, give us a couple of choices to choose from and the majority will, will rule, you know, once the ideas have been presented. Um... So we'll talk about all of those things in detail via email or DM me for right now. I'm going to try to do another video, even if it's just five minutes, to kind of give you what the email address is going to be and give another quick update on how we can meet. I want the CP moms to come together and meet. We need to be face-to-face. -face. We need to all be in one location at the same time and, and, and somehow get our message out. We need to rally together. I'm not saying go outside with picket signs and protest and all of that, but I'm telling you now, I'm going to spearhead this. And with that being said is I know that 
everyone has different religions and backgrounds and things like that. And if you don't believe in Jesus Christ and if you don't pray to God, you know, Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I am not trying to bring an offense to anyone. I am not trying to, um, you know, be disrespectful in any kind of way. But since this is something that I am spearheading and this is something that, you know, is upon my heart to do, this is the way that I'm choosing to do it. So if, if, if that is not something that you wish to do, um, you don't have to participate in that portion of it, but I'm not excluding anyone. It's not about religion or race or anything. We do have a cause, but Jesus Christ is going to be at the forefront of um, how I do things because I need to pray and seek the Lord to get his vision and his understanding about how to do this. So I just want to just kind of put that out there. Um, Cause I don't want things to get messy. I don't want the people to be catty. You know, I don't believe in God. I'm atheist. So I'm this, so I'm that. And that's, that's fine. Again, I'm not excluding anyone. I'm just saying that that is going to be the forefront of this project or this situation or this attempt or this, what, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there, and again, I don't, I'm, I, I'm not apologizing uh, because I am ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ or whatever like that. And I'm not apologizing in the sense of, you know, like I, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But what I'm saying is, if we don't agree on this level, I am not saying that I do not want you there. What I'm saying is that I, w- I want all the CP moms together, but I want to bring, I just want to let you know up front, you know, since I'm spearheading this, what it's going to be in terms of my dependency and me, you know, us taking steps to the next level. I'm going to be open to other opinions and ideas and all of that because I don't have all the answers. Please don't get me wrong. Um, I'm going to be learning from you guys and I'm going to need your help and and things like that. So please don't misunderstand me. Please don't. Because I'm not trying to be like condescending or anything like that or offensive in any kind of way. I'm just saying that that's going to help. That's going to be how I'm led to do, to move to the next step. It's going to be through my relationship with God and how he leads me and how he tells me to move in the situation. That's all I'm saying. So I, you know, I love each and every one of you with the love of the Lord. So I just wanted to just put that out there, you know, because I've dealt with situations when you have a group of people that have, you know, their own ideas and, you know, it can turn, it can just turn. And I I, I like to do things decently and in order. So I'm not going to be, I'm not the one to go through all of that. So I'm, you know... I'll cross that bridge when I get to it, but I'm kind of letting you know now how it's, how how things are going to start and how and and where where my source is coming from. So, with that being said, comment below. Let me know what you think about everything. Um, in terms of give me some ideas about how we can choose a location. Again, the radius or the miles or the the time frame that I wouldn't want anybody to travel past eight hours you know, on a road or bus or car or whatever. But if you have the funds and the means to travel and drive further than a, a, a eight hour distance or whatever like that, that is totally up to you. So, for example, if another team lead is having their meeting in, let's say, the Bahamas or um, in Mexico. I don't know. I'm just throwing a region out there. And you can afford to get on a plane and go to Mexico and you live in another state and you want to be a part of that, go to Mexico. 
But if you can't, then we're going to try to set up something for, you know, you to go to that is not as far away. That's my goal because I want everybody to, um, I want everybody to be able to be at a, a meeting and every meeting is going to stream live. Um, I will decide after we, we, when we get to that point, um, if you want to be a, a team lead, send me your name and you know, we can talk, we'll talk, we'll talk offline and I'll talk to all of the team leads, um, as far as being able to get your region, you know, choose your like your location and, um, where you want everybody to meet and things like that. And when you, the team leads are going to be responsible for letting people know what hotels are available in that area, letting everybody know, of course, where the location is, what time the meetings are going to start what the, and, and what the agenda is for the day. Now, some people can just go to the meeting and attend the meeting and then go back home the same day. Or however the team lead wants to do the agenda, you know, maybe they'll do a meet and greet the first day. And then the second day, they'll actually have the meeting and then everybody can get on the road. You know, it just depends on whatever that team lead wants to do for that region. And um, I'm sure that team lead will make it so that everybody will at least be able to attend the meeting because that team lead is going to actually meet with the people that say they can come to the meeting and that they are able to make it. So I need your comments. <sighs> if I don't get a lot of comments and a lot of response, it's okay. I will pray about what to do next and move on from there. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I just, I think we can talk about this, but if we really, really, get, really want to get radical, we're going to have to come together. Um, and the same fire and the same purpose and um, the same um, uh, passion that I have for this, I, I have for other content that's coming soon in my video. I don't want to give it away. I, 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 it's coming. Just hold on. It is coming. So trust and believe. Because, you know, you always have those uh, negative Nancys, you know. So, um, I, you know me, I, I like to set the record straight. So, <laughs> um, but I look forward to getting to know you all on a, on a deeper level. And um, I think we are the right people to do this because it is our experience. I want us to write books. Um... You know, do you know, right? You know, make pamphlets. You know, I don't know, y'all. This is something we can talk about when we meet. It's just kind of things that's kind of rolling through my head right now. Um, so yeah, um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else because as soon as I cut these videos, this video off, I know something else is going to come to my brain. So yeah, so I do want to say this, um, also. I've had a couple of new um, uh, subscribers um, who have made comments about um, that they think that they may have a cryptic pregnancy and that, you know, they feel movement or they may say, you know, I haven't had my cycle or they don't feel right or, you know, they keep, they think that they may be pregnant and they keep getting negative tests. Um, I just want to say that those are the symptoms of CP, but it doesn't necess necessarily mean it is a cryptic pregnancy. So I am not saying that every person that reaches out to me is having a cryptic pregnancy and that I can verify or approve or disapprove of that. I don't know. That's why my comment, my response to people is always listen to your body. You know, if you feel like you have an abnormal pregnancy, go see your doctor. Um, if you're having, a, you know, abnormal periods or if you're getting negative tests, but you feel movement and your belly is growing, 
my other suggestion would be to get an ultrasound or sonogram. If you request, you can request a copy of your sonogram or your ultrasound. That is legally, they have to give you that. And if you do that and you send me a, a picture of your ultrasound or your sonogram for me to look at, um, I will do that and I will give you my opinion on what I think. I am not 100% sure. I'm not a professional. So if I say something, what I see, so let's say, for example, you send me your ultrasound or sonogram and I say, I see a baby. And then you find out there was never a baby and that I was totally wrong. And then you may be disappointed, upset and say, well, you're just this lady on YouTube doing videos. And she, I showed her a picture of my um, ultrasound and she looked at it and she told me she saw babies and it wasn't a baby. It was a tumor and the tumor is removed. And now all of my symptoms are gone and I'm fine. So don't believe her. She don't know what she's talking about. You know, she misdiagnosed me. I, listen, I am not a professional. I, if you ask me to look at your ultrasound or your sonogram and I tell you what I see, that doesn't mean that it is completely accurate. Okay? So, <laughs> you're asking for my opinion. And it's only my observation. So I'm putting that out there now as a disclaimer so that people don't get it twisted. Because I'm not perfect. I don't have x-ray vision. All I can do is tell you based on my experience what I think I see. So if you want my opinion on your ultrasound, or your sonogram, and you ask me to look at it and you ask me what I think, I'm going to tell you what I think. And then what I think ends up being incorrect at some point in time, it was only an observation. So I want to put that out there because people, will, you know, be, people get bitter. People, you know, people are mean, you know, people will flip the script on you. You know, one minute, you know, they're nice and kind because you're they're you're doing what they're asking you to do. And then if you do something that they don't like or they disagree with, then, then you're a whole nother person. So, I just want to put that out there as well, okay? And I also want to say that I am not going to respond to everybody. I have to, I'm just not. I just know who to respond to and who not to respond to. I'm not going to give, you know, everybody all of my, my time. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not saying that I am the epitome of anything. I am, I'm not. But I'm also going to protect my peace. I'm also going to use wisdom and I'm also going to be very careful about what I say and how I say it because I don't want people to try to twist my intentions or my words around and use it to try to use it in a negative way or form, you know, against me because I am only trying to promote peace. I'm only trying to help women who are actually going through this and I'm trying to bring awareness and I'm trying um, and I will succeed at bringing people to the Lord, telling them about Jesus Christ and move forward on my channel the way God has purposed and called me to do that. So I'm just letting you all know that up front and I have to be, you know, candid and um, very um you know, um, I don't know what other word to use, but uh, passionate about what I'm saying because I've seen so many things happen to people when they only they're only trying to do something good, and someone else will try to come in and turn and twist what they're trying to do and make it out to be a mockery or something indifferent than what their actual intentions really are. So, you know. You know, I, I definitely don't want that sort of thing to happen. So anyone who has a YouTube channel and, you know, you have a passion about something and you are talking about a particular a particular subject or topic or whatever the case may be, you know, always be very clear about your intentions. Um, so lastly, I just want this video to just only be about 30 minutes or so. I... Um, 
like I said before in my other video, I have an appointment coming up next month and I will send you all an update. Some of the questions that I've also been asked is how far along I am. I am currently 22 months. And when I say 22 months, that is the time frame where I am emphatically knew that I am pregnant. Now, thinking back on all of the symptoms that I had prior to finding out that I was pregnant, I believed that I was, excuse me, actually pregnant long before this. But I don't attribute my pregnancy and I don't count that time because, um, you know, I'm, I just... Now that I know what I was feeling back then, I know it was the CP, but just because I'm not 100% sure, I don't, I just say I'm 22 months, but I actually think I've been pregnant longer. But emphatically knowing that a baby was in my stomach, it, I'm 22 months pregnant. Okay, so I'm also trying to think of some of the most recent questions that I've had. A lot of the comments have just been encouragement of women saying that I'm with you. Thank you for doing these videos. Um, you know, God is with us. You know, thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your positive energy. Thank you for, you know, just sticking together and, um, you know, just, you know, being positive, you know. I really, really, truly appreciate, appreciate that. And I do want to, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, I'm going to make this announcement when I do my first video that with the new content. So I'll save that. I'll save that for another time because I want to introduce you all to someone, but I'll do that later. Um, I'm trying to get it all out now because <laughs> um, I've been asked, when are you going to put up another video? When are you going to do another video? Um, so I'm trying to think about everything that's, that people have been asking me, y'all, my, I can't remember stuff, y'all. It's, it's just so hard to remember certain things. I, I, if I don't do it right in and there, I will forget. So ladies, this is the last thing I'm going to leave you with before I end this video. Don't give up. I don't care how hard it gets. Do not quit. Don't become desperate. Do not do anything that's going to harm yourself or your babies. If you think that you are having a cryptic pregnancy, my suggestion to you, I am not telling you what to do. I am only suggesting if the doctor says, I want to give you a DNC, that's a scraping of your uterine walls. Do not do that. Because if you are cryptically pregnant, babies hide, our babies implant all over our bodies mostly in our organs, behind our, behind our liver, in between our um, kidneys. Um, they implant everywhere. They, it's, you know, you'll know where your baby's implant, trust me, because I have to use a scooter. I can't even walk long distances because my babies are in, my, um, in between my liver and my kidneys, and they're in my back, and they're really, 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 really heavy. And one baby is in the front all the way at the bottom of my abdomen, so... I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do a DNC because it could possibly, something could possibly happen to the baby. The other suggestion that I have is um, a lot of times doctors will say, well, so that we can get a clear picture, I want to do an MRI. Again, I am not a professional. I'm only going on information that I've gathered and my experience. And y'all going to hear me keep saying this because, you know, I, I just know how people do things and I know how they twist things. And so I'm very careful with what I say. When you do an MRI, it's a lot of radiation in your body. And when you have babies and you have all of that radiation going into you and you're pregnant, it could possibly harm the baby. That's why when you go for an MRI, they ask you, are you pregnant? And if you are pregnant, they will not do it. Even when you get an, go to the doctor to get an x-ray, if you want to get an x-ray of your back or your leg or your arm, they ask you, are you pregnant? And they make you sign a piece of paper to verify that you are not pregnant because it could potentially do harm to the baby. Especially if you get an MRI and they want to put dye in it, you know, they want to put that contrast in it, that can also harm the baby as well. 
So my suggestion to you when it comes to an MRI, unless it, it if it's uh, life threatening or you feel to the point where you're going to die or you got this pain that is just debilitating you or whatever like that, or it's a life or death situation, I'm not going to say don't get an MRI because that's your life. And I'm also going to say to you, if you choose to get an MRI and you think you're pregnant, that is your choice. That is totally up to you. You do what you feel is best for you and your life and your baby and your situation. I'm only suggesting as suggesting as a CP mom that you consider the fact that you have a baby inside of you and that radiation could possibly do harm to the baby. I am not saying don't get an MRI. I am suggesting that you really think about it because that is, you know, the radiation could possibly harm the baby. If you are willing to still do that, that is your prerogative. You do whatever you feel you need to do for your situation. I am not telling someone to not get an MRI. I am not telling someone not to get a DNC. I am sub- suggesting that you can, you don't consider it because of the um, the babies and because of where they are implanted. Now... My doctor mentioned something to me about an MRI. So guess what? I have to make a decision and decide whether or not I want to get an MRI done. I don't think that I am. But if I did and I had to and it was threatening my life or I felt like I was so gravely ill or so sick and I just needed to have it done, I would personally for me, I would do it without contrast. Yes, I would for me. I'm not saying for you. But for me, so it's a case by case situation. You have to pray about it. You have to do what is best for you, the best interest for you and your body and your baby. But I'm letting you know that these are some of the things that can can harm your baby when you're having tests done. Um, That's why um, if I ever go to the hospital or doctor's office, I'm careful about what medications are prescribed to me. Um, thank God I haven't had to be placed in the hospital to be on any type of medicine or anything like that. Because when you tell them you're pregnant, but you get a negative pregnancy test and they want to feed you all this medicine, they're not going to believe that you're pregnant if you don't have a positive test. And if they do an ultrasound at the hospital and they don't see a baby, but you keep insisting that you're pregnant and they don't see it, they're going to be like, ma'am, you're not pregnant, and then they're going to put on your slip that you got that little thing where, you know, in your mind you think you're pregnant, but you're really not, and they basically try to say you're delusional. But no doctor can administer. I don't care what they say. If you tell them you don't want no medicine, no Tylenol, no whatever, you do not have to take it. They cannot force you to take medication at a hospital, even if you go through the emergency room. Um... You, you don't have to take it. You can just walk. The same way you walked in, you can walk out. Because the, I'm, on, I'm on blood pressure pills. But my blood pressure pills are for women that are pregnant. The women that are pregnant take the type of the blood pressure pills that I've been taking. I've been taking them for several years now. And they don't do harm to your baby. So I'm going to leave you with this other suggestion. You don't have to do it. It's up to you. Pray over your babies. Your babies are, are alive. They are a being that is inside of you that has a heartbeat, that has a spirit, a soul, and a body. Cover your children. Cover your babies in prayer. Read the scriptures to them. Read the Psalms to them. Cover them in prayer. Rub your belly. Bond with your babies. Bond with your babies. They are real human beings inside of you. They know. They feel. They sense. They, they know. They know your touch. They know when you don't feel well. Don't neglect yourself because other people think that you're crazy. Don't neglect your body because other people don't support you and think that you're crazy. Protect your peace. Bond with your baby. If people don't believe that you're pregnant and people think that you're psycho, then you have to remove yourself from that situation. Pray and ask God to give you the peace and serenity that you need so that your body is not stressed out, 
so that your babies aren't going into, you know, um, um, going into, um, you know, stress mode or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, eat, you know, eat and make sure that you are feeding your babies. Uh, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, you know, take care of your body, you know, and it's, I know it's easier said than done because I don't eat like I'm supposed to. And I'll be the first to admit that, you know, I don't always eat the healthiest foods, you know, I don't always make the healthiest choices. Excuse me. I don't, but I'm really working on trying to change that. I really, really am. Um, and, and when I say I'm working on it, I mean, I'm more cognizant now trying to eat more salads, uh, trying to drink more water, not taking in so much um, salt because I love seasoned food. I like for my food to be seasoned. And I'm trying, you know, to sometimes I try to say, you know what, I don't need to put salt on this to, because it, it has a, it has enough seasoning on it already. Even if it's, excuse me, guys, even if it's like little small changes, you know, um, flush your system out daily with water. Um, keep your feet elevated because I get my feet swell a lot. Um, um, I have a lot of fluid buildup and I think it's because when I sit, my favorite place in the house is to sit in my dining room or my bench at the table um, because I can't use my couch anymore. Well, not anymore, but as much because I can't get up off the couch because I could put my feet up on my ottoman. But if I'm home by myself and I got to use the bathroom, I can't get up fast enough to go to the bathroom. So if I can't go to the bathroom, y'all already know what happens, right? You don't need that in your life. You don't need that in your life. You don't. You don't. I don't want to wear the pins. I don't want to have to wear diapers. I just want to get up off the couch, go take care of my needs, and go sit back down on the couch. But I can't get up. So I have to sit where I can get up and go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how that works. So guys, my rant is over. I am done. I think I've given enough tips. I'm gonna try to come back again in a couple days with another video. I really want to put out my new content video next. That's my goal. Keep me in your prayers. Um I think I've covered everything. I always try to leave out on a positive note. Um Y'all, we got to do this. We cannot quit. I don't care if you've been pregnant four years. I don't care if you've been pregnant five years. I don't care if people talk about you. I don't care if people call you crazy and desperate and delusional and stupid and whatever else they call you. I don't care if you've seen everybody else popping out babies, having babies and popping out babies, and then you start getting resentful and, you know, whatever those emotions are, if you're having them, don't disregard them. Give them to the Lord. Pray and ask God to bring you calmness. Pray and ask, if you if you get angry at God or whoever your anger is towards, or because sometimes we do, we get angry because we don't understand why this is happening. So we get mad. I've I do. I've gotten upset. Like God, when I was trying to conceive and everybody else was getting pregnant and I couldn't get pregnant, you don't think I was mad? And you don't think I was without understanding? Yes, I was. I was, but I talked to God about that. Lord, I know I shouldn't be because your, 